morning. Welcome to AI Daily Insights at 8 o'clock. Today is March 4th, 2024. I hope you all have a great day as always. Let's take a look at what's happening in the AI world today. One, open AI leadership rejects Elon Musk lawsuit. Memo seen by reporters rebuts three main claims point by point. Just ahead of the weekend, senior management figures at OpenAI, including Sam Altman, CEO, and Jason Kwan, Chief Strategy Officer, CSO, appear to have circulated internal memos to give employees an insight into their position and likely to support company morale. In excerpts quoted by Axios, Kwan started by characterizing OpenAI as a law-abiding company that will responsibly cooperate with government requests. Then, Kwan sought to rebut what he considered to be Musk's three main lawsuit claims. On the topic of AGIs and their danger to humanity, Kwan did a sidestep by claiming GPT-4 is quite a long way from being an AGI. As evidence of this, he defined an AGI as a highly autonomous system capable enough to devise novel solutions to long-standing challenges. However, Kwan asserted GPT-4 can't do that. Kwan also denied that OpenAI had abandoned its mission of benefiting humanity. The firm's broadly available APIs and products were highlighted as important parts of the firm's mission. Moreover, it was claimed the commercialization of the firm has delivered the capital to pay for vital guardrails for the technology. Kwan also clarified the nature of OpenAI's relationship with Microsoft. OpenAI's CSO asserted that it is up to him and the other leadership figures how they research, build, and run the company. He also said that Microsoft is actually a competitor and that ChatGPT and ChatGPT for Enterprise were direct competitors for Microsoft's Copilot and Copilot for Microsoft 365. Two, Sam Altman's billions in wealth are thanks to Reddit, not OpenAI. OpenAI founder and CEO Sam Altman's net worth has crossed the $2 billion mark, according to Bloomberg Billionaire Index. However, his stake in OpenAI is not the secret behind his wealth. Altman, in fact, does not hold any stake in OpenAI, which was recently valued at $86 billion. Most of his wealth comes from a web of VC funds and startup investments, reported Bloomberg. It is expected that his net worth will grow massively in coming months, owing to the initial public offer of Reddit, where he is among the largest shareholders. Three, a Korean news outlet is claiming OpenAI has developed a new model dedicated to physics. OpenAI is recruiting physics professors as data labelers to build a scientific AI model aiming to solve physics problems. By allowing AI to learn from high-quality, clean data labeled by physicists, it has the potential to eventually solve scientific challenges independently. This approach is similar to how AlphaGo shocked the world by learning from top Go players, paving the way for future AI advancements in various fields beyond games. CEO Sam Altman of OpenAI emphasizes the potential of AI to drive scientific discoveries that humans alone cannot achieve, highlighting the importance of integrating AI technology with academic expertise. India reverses AI stance, requires government approval for model launches. India has entered the global AI debate with an advisory requiring major tech companies to get government permission before launching new models. The Ministry of Electronics and IT issued the advisory requesting firms to ensure services products are bias-free and do not threaten electoral integrity. Although not legally binding, the advisory signals future regulation, aiming to maintain compliance with immediate effect. The move has sparked concern among industry executives and startups, with some criticizing the policy shift as hindering India's global competitiveness in AI. Five, NVIDIA leaps Aramco to be world's third most valuable company. NVIDIA Corp. has claimed another milestone by overtaking Saudi Aramco in market value, making the chipmaker the world's third most valuable public company after Apple Inc. and Microsoft Corp. The company ended Friday's session at $2.6 trillion, closing above the $2 trillion mark for the first time. Meanwhile, Aramco's value dipped to $2.3 trillion, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. The rally has been relentless this year. The stock has climbed about 66% and added some $834 billion in value. The stock rose as much as 1.8% in pre-market trading on Monday. Six, by the way, Google founder Sergey Brin went to a hackathon last week. Google's co-founder Sergey Brin has admitted that the company messed up after its AI chatbot created images of black Nazis, 
Speaking to Google staff in an internal hackathon meeting, Mr. Brin said the system was not thoroughly tested before being released to the public. At the meeting on Saturday, Mr. Brin said, We definitely messed up on the image generation. I think it was mostly due to just not thorough testing, and it definitely, for good reasons, upset a lot of people. Google has now suspended Gemini's ability to generate images. The company was also criticized for answers given by its chatbot, which included failing to condemn pedophilia and refusing to write arguments in favor of oil and gas. By the way, Sergey Brin, the richest programmer in the world, and what's even more outrageous, is that he is one of Gemin's core code contributors. That's all for today's AI news. Welcome to listen and welcome to subscribe AI Daily Insights at 8 o'clock on Substack. Or subscribe to our podcast on YouTube or Spotify. I wish you a pleasant day. See you tomorrow. Woo!